If you run a 3D printer fleet, you already know that you need to control how different users interact with that fleet. At a base level, you don't want a newbie slicing a file in a way that damages a 3D printer. And of course, there's many, many other issues that could come up as well. AstroPrint solves this with our robust roles and permission system. So for this demo, we created four roles, super admin, admin, lab technician, and students. But you can create as many roles as you want just by hitting new role up here, selecting your permissions, and then saving it. It's important to note that users can have different roles in different groups. For example, if you have two different 3D printer labs, you could have someone be an admin in one, but a lab technician or end user or student in another, no problem. Now, once you've created your roles, you'll want to go through the permissions and assign permissions to the roles. We won't go through them all right here, but if you mouse over the permissions, you'll be, uh, get a description of each one. Plan level permissions are all about uh, adding users to the system, managing SSO, changing the logo for the entire account, things like that. Group level permissions are about uh, changing that whole group structure, uh, adding groups and assigning assets to groups such as folders and printers. 3D printer level permissions are about controlling the printers, adding printers to the system, starting them, managing jobs on the printers, monitoring the video stream of the printers. Uh, shared folder level permissions. Uh, this is not just about creating folders in the system and deleting them. This is about the ability to upload and download G-code files, upload and download uh, design files, viewing print history, viewing other people's files versus only your own. Time lapses are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, group managing group queues, being able to work through the group queue structure, and creating and managing slicing profiles, which is uh, many organizations want to restrict. To give you an example, in our university demo here, uh, we set it up like most universities are running their uh, printer farms where students can add files to group queues, but they cannot slice. Uh, themselves. Only lab technicians in this setup can slice or admins. So whatever type of granularity you need, we should work with it. But if uh, there are permissions you need that aren't in this list, let us know. And if you're having trouble figure, figuring out what is the optimum role permission structure for your organization, uh, let us know too. We're, we're happy to help and, and give our, our advice.